Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So as you know in the last video I have conducted a poll. So in that poll clearly HTML and CSS has won. So in this video I will be starting off a new course which is HTML and CSS. So let's start off by talking. Uh, what is HTML and CSS? HT and ML. So what is HT and what is ML? So how did humans come up with a strange name HTML? So if you break it down, it's not a strange name. HT is hypertext and ML is markup language. So let me go to Wikipedia. So am I going to read from Wikipedia? If I'm going to read from Wikipedia, why am I still over here? I can just, you can just read it from Wikipedia. So I'm not going to read it from Wikipedia, but the most important is this paragraph. I found it very interesting and I think I should explain this to you. So this, uh, by reading this paragraph, it's going to help you a lot. It's going, you're going to understand what is HTML. So hypertext, HT markup language as ML. So let's remove hypertext for a second and let's um, discover markup language. So what is a markup language? Let's split this as well. I know splitting is hard remembering. So markup. So what is markup? You are marking something. So now let's go to a website, apple.com. Why am I choosing apple.com? I'll tell you it is for a reason. And let me go to the iPhone section and inside the iPhone section, the iPhone 12 section. So let me draw something right over here. As you can see, there is a text iPhone 12 and there are three buttons over here and there is a image right over here. So as you can see, I am marking up. So these are just like the bones of a website. So let me, okay. So these are like the bones of a website. So this is, uh, this gives you the structure basically. This is your structure and these are just like your bones we did not style it yet we, so this apple.com website is styled it is completely beautiful it is damn good but before learning that so where is html used in this website so html is used to create websites right so this page uses html so every website is made using html and css so every website whatever website you take it is made using html so how is html used in this website so I'm marking up things such as I'm marking up that here is iPhone 12, here are three buttons, here is the image. I'm marking up things. It is just like a bare structure. But after CSS is applied, you will get this ultimate nice design. But without CSS, this is like nothing. The design is just raw. It is. It doesn't look so good. Now I cannot take the CSS for this website, but I'm just telling you that it doesn't look so good. But HTML gives us the structure. So another example. So this will make you understand what is HTML. So you can walk, you can sit, you can exercise. So how ca how are you able to stand? How are you able to walk? You need a structure. So my basic structure is I have a basic spinal cord. I have a structure. Every human being is structured. So my structure is maintained by my bones. So just like that in websites, the structure is maintained by HTML, but the styling or the appearance of the website is maintained by CSS. Let me go to CSS later, but let's uh, get HTML pretty straightforward. So HTML just gives the structure of a website. Now let's go over here. It's the standard markup language for documents designed to be displayed in a web browser. So this is a web browser. Inside a web browser, you can search anything. Uh, such as HTML, I can search anything. So this is a web browser. So what did it say? Documents designed to be displayed in a web browser. So documents, so the documents are just websites designed. So websites are designed, which are to be displayed in a web browser just like this. So you understood this. So you just understood this line. It can be assigned by technologies such as cascading style sheets. Here it comes CSS, cascading style sheets. So by hearing its name, style sheets, you must have understood by now that style sheets gives a website something, it gives it an appearance. Without CSS, this website is complete trash. So without CSS, uh, only CSS is saying that this logo must be here. These links should be here. This should be here. This tag should be here. This image should be here. Only CSS says that. Without CSS, this complete website is trash. And after CSS comes a very important keyword and scripting languages such as JavaScript. So JavaScript is a technology which you can use for motion. So why did I take apple.com, the website? This website uses 
javascript to its utmost i like the animations they are using so if you want to do any animations in a website you must use javascript so let me scroll down this website so can you see the animations they just pop up and on scrolling you are able to rotate everything just go to apple.com and see the website just scroll it and as you can see the animations they look stunning they achieved this type of animation only using javascript so without javascript this is not possible so with html and with css you can do this whole website but without javascript this animation cannot be done not at all this animation cannot be done so you need to learn javascript css and html to achieve this website at least one hour a day just spend time for programming and you will be proficient in it now let's go to some hands on stuff so this is just theory part and i i wanted to explain what is html and css so without even knowing what you want to learn in this course you uh, you don't know what to achieve in this course how can you even go further in the subject so i got my facts straight through wikipedia and also i gave you a strong foundation what is html and css if you did not understand anything please leave a comment i'll be explaining i am answering to every comment i will answer till my best if there are many comments i might not but i'll answer them as soon as possible so as we are done with the theory part let's make some websites some basic websites so first let's close this and this is a complete fresh web browser now minimize google chrome and this is my desktop so now in order for you to create a web page what you need to do is go to any directory you can go to file explorer like this you can go to file explorer like this and you can uh, right click over here and click new and click a text document or just quit this in your desktop right click you will get this dialog box new uh, text document and type in my first website dot not txt it is dot html yes so this is your first now double click this this will take you to google chrome so this is your first website it is blank i know it is completely blank but this is your first website we are going to progress so i'm going to explain it to you so where do you write code so did you ever ask yourself where do i write code where do i type the code you type code in something known as a text editor so what are text editors these are places where you can code what are the best text editors so the best text editor for beginners is atom or sublime text these two are preferred for beginners after you have progressed at least a month or so you can use a text editor known as visual studio code i use visual studio code so at start i thought that a visual studio code is a bit intimidating for using that but visual studio code is the best text editor for web development i use visual studio code always so let me go to visual studio code so you can see how to install text editors you can go to atom i guess i deleted atom sorry I guess I deleted sublime text as well. So, I have Visual Studio Code. Let me open that. So, you can install Atom and you can install Visual Studio Code. So, this is Visual Studio Code. Now, the uh, delete that and open file. And this is desktop, my first website.html, open that. And this is blank. Why is it blank? Because we haven't written anything till now. This is a completely new file. Now let's start some coding. Are you ready? Okay. So first tag. So the first line of code is doc type HTML. What am I typing? The first line of code you have ever written till now is frightening. So don't worry. This doc type is saying that doc. Let's split it again. So doc means document. So doc type HTML says which version of HTML you are using. So just type that and it will say HTML5. So you are using the latest version which is HTML5 and doc type HTML just say uh, tells the browser that it is the latest version of HTML. And after that you will type something known as a tag. So what are tags? So for everything in HTML they have tags. So this first tag right over here. So for tags we are going to use some symbols such as angular brackets and using angular brackets we can type in the tags so the first tag is html tag so inside html tag this uh, this tag right over here says that any code any website code goes under this html tag 
and after this is done inside a html document you have two things the head of the document and then the body of the document just like you you have a head and you have a body so just like that you have a head and you have a body now let's go to the web browser and this is a complete new website completely new tab so you can see the title over here it says my first website.html now let's change that and inside head type this so this is called the title tag and inside title tag you can mention the title of the website for example my first web app say that and reload your page as you can see the title has been changed my first web app congratulations and after that inside your body there's another tag known as h1 so h1 means header one so inside the h1 tag you can type something for example hello world save it and reload your page so inside the h1 tag you have hello world and now what is h1 h1 means header one so it has the greatest font and after this let's copy paste it and type in h2 this time the tag is h2 and copy and paste it and change it to h3 now save it and go to your web browser and reload the page as you can see the size um, it is decreasing from time to time this is h1 tag this is h2 tag and this is h3 tag so instead of hello world let's type in something useful h1 tag and h2 tag and h3 tag perfect let me remove this perfect now let's copy and paste this again and this is h4 and this is h5 and this is h6 we have all these tags available for us now let's save it and reload h1 tag is has the greatest font h2 tag has the greatest font size h3 tag sorry not the greatest the second greatest and the third and the fourth the fifth and the sixth it slowly changes i guess you can go up to seven or eight you can test it out and let me know and after this you have something called as a p tag so the p tag is also known as a paragraph tag you can type anything for example some random let it go so this is just the p tag this is a big paragraph now reload so this is a big paragraph so these are all headings and this is a paragraph and let me also show you what is a self closing tag so over here if you type in h1 and type in hello there not hello there hello there and reload the page it says hello there and after this i have hello there three times let me reload and i have hello there three times so what if i want to give it a break now i can type in br tag so br is not used over here it is used in uh, such scenarios where hello there hello there three times it is present now reload it you have hello there three times but you want hello there three times in a column so how do you get that you just type in br so as you can see this is a self closing tag this does not have an opening like this so you can type like this but a self closing tag can self close just like this it is completely fine and after this paste it right over here and now save this and reload this as you can see we have hello there three times so this is the use of the br tag so the br tag breaks things up and after this we have something known as the image tag even the img tag is a self closing one and inside this you can you should provide a parameter known as src so what are these parameters so inside the tag you can provide some values so inside this image tag you are providing a value that is the link of an image so when i typed in photos i got uh, these photos in the photos tab and i wanted to download a photo so for example i want to download this photo i'll just download it in the desktop directory desktop and image one type it image one and after that image src is equal to image one dot which image file jpg dot jpg so this is the file now let's go to our website as you can see this is our image we have just downloaded from the web we just downloaded this website 
sorry the image and we have just displayed it in our website isn't that great we did that using the image tag and after this we can also use the video tag so inside my desktop i have a video known as singing birds so let me rename that singing and over here let's type in singing dot mp4 save this and reload let's go down here is my video so the video is quite big so let's play this video oh i'm not able to play a video why is it so i'm not I, whenever i'm clicking this video and make sure that you are coding with me if you don't have a video just download any video from the internet and just make sure that you are following me so what is causing that problem the one other parameter which we need to give is controls if we give this parameter it says that give it the progress bar give it the play button give all those tabs to the user now save this and let's go to chrome again reload now let's click this yes the video is playing as you can see over here the video is playing yes the video is playing yeah, okay so okay the video is playing and after this we also have the audio tag let me see if I have an audio. I have it over here. Let me copy and paste it in my desktop. And this audio is MP3. So SRC is equal to any guesses? Host.mp3 is my file name. Controls. Just type in controls for it to give the progress bar and everything. And control S for saving the file and reload. So I've just noticed that I said something wrong which is the video tag is not self-closed. So the image tag is self-closed, but the video tag is not self-closing. So you need to end this like this. So the video tag is not self-closing. And after this, even for audio, it is just like this. Now save this and let's go to our web browser, reload the page, let's go down and over here, there's some audio. Let's play it. Yay, we even displayed some audio. So these are just different tags. You can play with them. Where can you explore them? Go to a website known as W3Schools. And over here type in HTML. W3Schools HTML. And click the first link. Over here you can, uh, you can get to know many tags and much more about HTML. So this is a good place to learn HTML as well. So if you want to read it, as I told you earlier, one hour per day at least, 30 minutes theoretical, 30 minutes hands-on. And just like that, 30 minutes, you just need to read something from W3Schools and other 30 minutes, you just need to practice something. So read from W3Schools and practice in your text editor. So I hope you liked today's video. Please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you found this video to be helpful, please share this video to as many friends as you like. So please don't forget to subscribe this channel as this is free of cost, but it helps my channel to grow a lot. So I'll meet you in the next one. For now, peace.